Hi, it's Miriam. Welcome back. I'm so happy to see you. Today I created this copper makeup look and if you want to see how I did that, please keep on watching. All right, let's start with the eye makeup. So I'm gonna showcase a very beautiful copper golden smoky eye. I'm gonna be using the Dare to Dare eyeshadow palette. So before I get into the eye makeup, I definitely have to show the palette. It is amazing, guys. And I will be using some of these lovely bronzy golden colors and this pop of color. I got my base on, I have foundation, concealer, and I touch up my brows, as you can see. Let's get into the eyeshadow. All right, so first things first, I'm going to start with the eyeshadow primer. So it's the Perfectitude. I'm gonna squeeze out just a little amount. And this will be the perfect base for the eyeshadow. We're actually gonna do my kind of smoky eye, bronzy colors, hands down, my favorite. I'm gonna show you my way, and I hope you like it. It's very easy, only a few steps. I'm gonna go in with the spontaneous first. So I'll be using the Luminizer Fixing Water, which will bind the eyeshadow on my brush. It's really a good technique if you want to do glitters or just in general want the eyeshadow color to pop like so much. So let's give it a try and you see it straight away. When you do this, you will actually have less eyeshadow fallouts. Make sure to get all the way to the base of the lashes. Pull up a little bit and slide it down and just blend out the edges so it looks more smooth. So I want my eyeshadow brow color to be fairless, as you can see this one. I'm gonna do the same trick. Pull up a little bit, apply it. Now we have gone in with the spontaneous on the eyeshadow lid. I'm gonna have a transition color. I'll be using the impressive color and I will apply it into the crease. I want to give this vibe of uh, mainstream slash editorial. When I've applied this transition color into the crease, I'm actually moving down to the outer corner of my eye to further give my eyes dimension. As you can see, I'm also pulling the eye in more into the inner corners of my eyes to give more intensity. And that is something I love. What you can do if you further want to give your eyes more dimension is you pick up a matte brown color. I'm gonna go in with the independent dark brown eyeshadow color. I want to give my eyes more dimension, so I'm gonna focus this color just on the outside of my eyes. So I'm gonna go up into the crease and on the outside of my eye. If it's an evening look, you could definitely create more depth using more of these brown colors. So before I go in with the Unforgiving pop color, I just want to give a little bit more definition under my brows. I'll be picking up Unpredictable, which is a really, really beautiful highlight color. I will just apply it on top of my other highlight color. Just a tiny bit. Gotta blend it just a bit. I'm gonna do the same on the other eye. Pop up. Just gonna put just a tiny bit on the outer side of my brow. Now that I've finished my eyeshadow on the top of my eyes, I will be focusing on the inner corners and I definitely want a mixture of the two highlighters I use for my brows. The unpredictable and the fearless color. And I actually want to spritz just a tiny bit to make it more intense and Apply it in the inner corner. We're gonna focus on the lower lash line now. I will be picking up three colors actually. So I'll be using the infinite color, which is a very beautiful deep blue with a touch of gray in it and with a touch of silver shimmer. I'll be using this eyeshadow color on the outer part of my lower lash line. So that was the deeper color of the pop colors. I'm gonna go in with Unforgivable, which is our main pop color. Very loud and very beautiful. Yes. 
yes guys look at this i'll be using surprising as the last pop color i would say it's a very soft teal color and that was the pop color i'm gonna do a very cute eyeliner on this look and for that I'll be using two different eyeliners a pen and a liquid one if you're very comfortable doing eyeliners go straight in with this one it's very intense and it's very black if you're a new beginner or you just know it has to be so fast in the morning or whatever and um, go in with the pen that will help you a lot so I'll be showing you both and uh, gonna be shaking it up to move the color the pen liner I'll be using is the Royal Liner. The way I do my eyeliner is I always start with the actual eyelid and then I create my wing afterwards. You could do it the way you want to. I know it's so different from people to people. You can stick to this or you can build it up. I want to build it up because I just feel like it's not enough. So as you can see here, small strokes. Five, six years ago, I used to be nuts about eyeliners and they will always be more straight because I love that more Egyptian feel to it, you know, a bit more straight. And then I did practice um, doing more of a curvy or more of an arched liner. Today, I probably would do just a tiny arch to the liner. You just have a look and see, is this the way I want it? If not, this is the time to correct it right now. But I like the angle, so I'm gonna connect the outer corner. I'm gonna connect that to the rest of the eyeliner. And then you fill it in with the line attitude. So you can see the application here, the tip is so thin. So I'm basically going to connect and fill out the outer corner or the wing I just made. What you can do is you can further connect them so it mo looks more like a line and then it goes up. I want to do that. And this is my eyeliner. I'll do the same on the other eye. And the second liner is always much faster to make because now you know the angle you want to create the liner at and you know the thickness and everything. So it's just rather quick, quick. I want to intensify my eyes and I'll be using the Cold Pencil Confession Eyes. So this liner is a long-lasting one, perfect for the raining weather and for the windy weather. I'll be placing this in the waterline and basically just paint. And now that I'll be applying my mascara, which is the Guilt Eye Mascara, I will be using lashes for this look so I don't have to focus too much on the, the mascara. So I'm just gonna build it with one coat, go straight to the other. You just apply your favorite pair of lashes and then we have a smoky smoky, bronzy, washed out, very fall inspired, sexy, a bit Egyptian inspired look, which I love. So I just put my lashes on and I'm gonna finish the face we're gonna do some contour, highlight, and finish off with a beautiful lip. I'm gonna use the Glorious Highlight and Bronzing Palette. It has three gorgeous colors. And I'm gonna start with the bronzing one. With the bronzing color, I actually wanna define my cheekbones. If you don't wish to do that, you just want some nice bronzing color all over, you take a fluffy brush. But if you want to be more precise, you take in a more compact, more stiff brush. So my trick is, I always squeeze my cheeks together, make this little pouty mouth, and then I go in. Obviously, all the way up to my five head over here. Create some shadow. 
I think a bronzer for me is really, really important. You know, I guess if you're into makeup and everything, you always have your favorites. And for me, it's definitely a bronzer. With my color, it picks it up really well. So if you are darker, please go for the contour palette that Love has. They have a really nice contour palette I used in another video. Definitely going to go with the golden highlight color. Um, this is perfect if you have medium darker skin tones. Whereas if you are lighter, please go for the lighter one. Or whatever you wish. I want more precision with my highlighter. You know what they say, precision is key. <laughs> so I'm going to go in with the golden highlighter. This one is really good for every day because it's really natural. I'm gonna go with that as the first layer. And then go in with Fearless and Unpredictable. Connected. I'm gonna go a little bit into the Fearless and Unpredictable again. And just on the tip of the nose, gonna apply that. And the bridge of my nose as well, just a tiny bit. But this gives me like a fake pointy nose, which I really like. And I'm gonna finish it off with lips. And I'm really excited for this lipstick here. I have a lip liner and a lipstick. I'm gonna go in with the Lip Affair, which is called 100% Mariana. So this one is more of a, I would say, pinkish nude. Quick, quick. I'm just gonna outline my lip. So I'm going to go in with the beautiful Lip Affair Metallic in the color Chrome Fusion. And I'm, and I'm going to apply it straight to my lips. I'm going to set my face now with the Love Lights with the Luminizing Fixing Water. So this one has these really fine holographic pearls in it which moisturizes and I'm just loving it. And now I can go out and go about my day and we're done. Alright guys, so I just finished this beautiful cover makeup look with the twist of blue. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Love's channel. If you don't want to miss any new video releases, hit the bell button. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!